Shaggy Waggy Dogs and Others by Stephanie Kalmanson, photographs by Justin Sutcliffe. This is the title page. To Rachel, Anna, and Pearl. To Jamie. I'm going on a dog walk. I wonder what breeds I'll see. I'm finally getting a dog of my own. Which kind will be right for me? Poodle. Who just went to the groomer? Who's looking very well? Is it the mistress or the dog? Neither one will tell. Afghan Hound. That dog isn't walking. He's bouncing. He's bouncing down the street. I wonder what's beneath the hair. Are there springs inside his feet? Basset Hound. This dog is howling, a tune that I know. The name of it is, Do Your Ears Hang Low? Bulldog. This dog is ugly beautiful. I see her and I smile. Great big shoulders, pushed in face. Oh, she has such style. Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Most of this dog is the usual sort till you get to his legs. They're very short. Beagle. She's a very merry hunting dog, loved wherever she goes. Just watch her or she'll wander off while following her nose. Boxer. The name says these are fighters. Their muscles say so too. But what they really want is a chance to play with you. German Shepherd. He's smart, strong, handsome. He likes working hard. He can guide, herd, track, or be your loyal guard. Sharpe. Purple tongue, warm brown eyes, but his wrinkly coat looks too big for his size. Labrador Retriever. He cannot stop for petting. He cannot stop to play. This dog has a job to do. He helps his mistress find her way. Bichon Fries. He's white like puffs of cotton. His face is a happy surprise. Out from his marshmallow hair peek two black cherry eyes. Jack Russell Terrier. Catch that frisbee, wag that tail. You're a dog who likes to play. Tug that frisbee, don't let go. You're a dog who will play all day. Chinese Crested. She has some hair on her head, paws, and tail. The rest of this dog is as smooth as a snail. Tibetan Terrier. How can she see through all that hair? Hello? Hello? Is there a dog in there? Newfoundland. Look who's just been swimming. A happy, dripping pet. Get out of the way when he shakes off or you'll be very wet. Golden Retriever. If you throw the ball in the water, he'll fetch it for you. And then, if you throw the ball in the water, he'll play the game again. Commodore. Do you see what I see? A big walking mop. His ropes of hair drop down from the top. Cocker Spaniel. He's a friendly dog and handsome too, but ears in the water bowl just will not do. Rottweiler. This dog looks big, muscular, lean. Please tell me fast, is he friendly or mean? Smooth Fox Terrier. She likes to dig, 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 down, down in the ground, then come up, up, up with whatever she's found. Great Dane. I'm not sure I could walk him. I just might be too small. In case you hadn't noticed, this dog is very tall. Yorkshire Terrier. This dog is so small, she'd fit in a locket. Well, maybe not quite. Let's try a pocket. Soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. One dog looks like the other. 
This dog looks like that. Same breed, different hairdos. One is fluffy, one is flat. Norwich Terrier and Norfolk Terrier. Which dog is which? They seem just the same. So you look at the ears, then the answer is plain. Bijla. This dog is fast. She was born to run. See her gleaming coat like a penny in the sun. Dalmatian. This dog is white where the spots are not, but lots and lots of spots he's got. Australian Shepherd. His family herded cattle, that's the reason why. He nips at heels and tries to herd the people passing by. Shipperky. Ahoy, little captain, keep an eye on the ship. You're a fine companion for any sailing trip. Old English Sheepdog. Here's a happy dog who's big and shaggy. Since he has no tail, all of him gets waggy. Dashund. Everyone says it, so I'll say it too. She looks like a hot dog. Isn't it true? Look, the animal shelter. Which dog should I get? One that's shaggy, waggy, spotted? A hairless pet? A herding dog. One who catches a ball. A dog who digs. I want them all. I got my dog. I love her. What kind of dog is she? A little of this and a little of that. She's just the right dog for me. A word about breeds. In this book, there are more than two dozen dog breeds. Two dozen may seem like a lot of choices until you think about the more than 400 dog breeds known today. What exactly is a breed? A breed is a group of dogs with offspring that look and behave like their parents. Like dogs themselves, the system of classifying dogs can be unruly. Breeds are often grouped together according to their function, herding, hunting, or companion dogs, for example. They are further grouped according to their appearance. The same breed may have several different names. Over time, as breeds are mixed, established breeds disappear and new breeds are formed. Which dog is right for you? Whatever breed or mix of breeds you choose, it is important to have the right dog for you. What does it mean to have the right dog? The right dog is the dog you can live with happily and care for well. If you are someone who likes peace and quiet, you will probably have a hard time living happily with a yappy dog. If you live in a small city apartment and don't have time for long walks, you are not going to be the best caretaker for a dog who needs a lot of exercise. Here are some of the things you will want to consider when choosing a dog. Size and appearance, temperament, sex, age, purebred or mixed breed, whether to buy or adopt. Are you right for a dog? There are important things to consider about yourself as well. Will you be a good dog owner? Here are some questions you need to answer before getting a dog. Do my family and I have enough money to pay for a dog's food, toys, and health care? Am I patient enough for a puppy who may make a mess in my room, tear my homework, eat my new sneakers, and wake me when I'm sleepy? Do I really have time to help walk, feed, groom, train, and play with a dog? Am I willing to take care of a dog day after day for many years? If you answered no or maybe to any of these questions, do not get a dog. If you answered every question with an honest yes, here are places to get more information. Your library, bookstore, and pet supply store have books about choosing and caring for a dog, as well as books about individual breeds. The American Kennel Club has information on purebreds. They can be reached at this address and also here online. You can also email them for information at info at akc.org. Your local animal shelter can tell you about adopting. When you can't get a dog, of course you can't get a dog on your own. It has to be a family decision. When I was growing up, 
my family decided against getting a dog. This decision made me very unhappy, but I knew in my heart it was the right one. A dog needs to be welcomed by all. So I was a dogless kid. What did I do? I had 13 stuffed toy dogs, which I loved dearly. I became a volunteer dog walker for any dog owner who would have me. I read dog books, saw dog movies, and waited. When I was grown up and living on my own, I was ready to think about getting a dog. I did not get one right away because my days were full and I traveled a lot. I had to wait some more. Then I started working at home and knew the time was right. I was able to answer yes to the question, will I be a good dog owner? Getting a dog, my dog Rosie, has been one of the happiest things I have ever done. Waiting for the right time was the smartest. Here are an index of breeds. The 